Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too, even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Morale was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud, sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the BioVira to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby Tigre, and we're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. Hope you have good camera skills. What do you, mean? What do you kids say? No filter? Don't say that. She's no still. When you show nope. Baby Tigre, while you're at the facility, there's someone I want you to look for. Who? Her name's Gabriella. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits, until one day she told us she had some good news. Colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out for her. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened.
This bullshit about treating cancer. What? They're using humans like rats. What are they testing? Castillo's not going to get away with this. I need more pigs. What is going on here? in the water. Need to, this should be enough to go as Lorenzo. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place Horon was talking about. You swipe to the left, they look free to you. Man. This is what Libertad and La Morale are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste? That's the bien. You shoot the tree.
Dani, sí. Dani, come back to El Agujero. She is getting real. We need to rally our people and talk next steps. Dale. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez Jimenez. Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I would plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. Would you well, do just get your hand open. You sure doing put That's such a good idea? What can I say? Your little speech fucked me up. The part where you put the gun to your head and pull the trigger, that was crazy! I loved it! <laughs> I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy tourists, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I could sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh. 
Oh shit! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah! I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in your chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. isn't taking reservations. When Castillo's there, it's always checkout time. How long are we doing this? I don't know. My jokes have no vacancy. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Danny, I'm your eyes on this one and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Binga. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They've tortured the last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying. She was going to fucking kill me for sure. Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. 
And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interest is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Castillo. It's also about Libertad. It's about everything. Okay, Clara. Shoot. No, not like this. Come find me at the Esperanza School for the Lost. I think you know the place. Yeah, you could say that. On my way. Danny, make sure you're alone. No Juan. This is just you and me. Esperanza School for the Lost. Full circle, eh, Clara? What's up? Oye, Dani. Clara's upstairs. Gracias. It's my papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tu sabe. I'm done, Tania. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it? I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us, we don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. Want to tell me why you dragged me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're kidding, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. And he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. <laughs> and then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. 
Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live, and then Castillo lets you walk away from a death sentence. But the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us. You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny. What do you got? Guerrilla. The army is running supplies by the river in the center of Esperanza. Taking it out would be a big win for us. Thanks a lot. These farmers in Sombreado Gorge, they're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy combo is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. Hola, Bonnie. Damn it. Thing won't work down here. All this dust is terrible for my poor. <coughs> I have just the... I like these young guerrillas. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito. And Carlito only needs one. Hey, Danny, you recruit the 
those farmers yet to hit the pass? Remember, say the word knuckleball. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in theme. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. Diego? Poor kid never had a job. El Tigre! Is Carlito a funk? Por supuesto! What were you expecting? He's Carlito! Pencil here. A pencil? Violence was not revealed paradise. Disruptive forms of protest. Long live Libertad! Santos Espinosa manipulated the hearts and brainwashed the mind of Yarans through his careful selection of corrupt events. Where Yarans is the summit of the president. Yarans Castillo. Libertad idiot! Should disable the alarm. Get lost. Go.
taste of death, and I spit it up. Carlito was attacked. So you came! What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay! How many years since you've been down the mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. Come on.
war is over, when we are all free? Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. I wish he was here now. He'd be so happy to see us and Carlito. Happy to see you and Carlito, maybe. Ah, enough of that nonsense, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs>